a single unified platform to dramatically increase your productivity. Send quick chat messages, make private calls, exchange images and reports. Buzz streamlines care provider communication across care continuum. Patient resident centric channels enable effective collaboration of all care roles, including third party providers. Caregivers receive and act on real time information, communicating from anywhere at any time with anyone, including physicians and family members, via text, audio, and video, sharing documents across organizations. Seamless integration with EHRs allows bi directional flow of clinical information and enables easy access to demographics, notes, medications, vitals, sharing with other Buzz users and pushing updates to residents' records. Providers have access to clinical knowledge accessing information on drugs, therapeutics, labs, calculator and algorithms in a matter of seconds. Integrated mobile clinical communication solution to empower providers' mobility, reduce care delays, and improve the patient experience. In leading organizations, clinical communication technology is the cornerstone of a broad initiative to overcome care coordination challenges, improve transitions in care, and satisfy new patient experience expectations. Modern technology like Buzz enables physicians, nurses, staff at home health organizations, LTC facilities to communicate and collaborate and deliver medical services in real time from anywhere. Telehealth visits, document sharing and editing, e-signatures and accessing medical knowledge. Our advanced clinical communication solution addresses your enterprise wide needs including communication with out-of-network providers, patients, and patients' loved ones. How do your nurses connect with out-of-network providers today? How do your clinicians ensure HIPAA-compliant communication with out-of-network providers? How often does your team experience communication failures when trying to reach outside providers? An effective solution like Buzz will reduce care delays by ensuring the correct person is immediately reached. Streamlining message and multimedia assets delivery eliminates errors and reduces communication cycle time, the average time it takes to receive a response from a care team member after sending them a message. Let us show you Buzz. Welcome. We'd love to give you a whole tour on the Buzz platform. If you're new to Buzz, we're going to take a closer look and show how you can use Buzz as your communication and collaboration platform for teamwork in your workflows. And we will also walk you through some of the core experiences with group chat, collaborating on files, hosting online meetings, and even telehealth. Before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Jonathan Allen, and I'm part of the Buzz team here at Skyscape. One of the big pillars we'd like to discuss with the Buzz platform is community. And you can build up your community easily inside Buzz by inviting other colleagues. Buzz is the hub for teamwork that allows you to communicate and collaborate in a single secure location. The Buzz platform is of course available on mobile devices and through a web browser on your computer. One of the first things we want to do in Buzz is actually add someone to our Buzz circle. And we can invite someone to our Buzz circle either by sending them a text message or by via email. And it's just as simple as I have my mobile device to my left, my computer to my right, just tapping on invite. Once I get to the invite screen, I can send the invite to them either via SMS text message or by email and they will receive it from us, from Skyscape. So you still keep your anonymity about that invite that you're sending on there. The great thing is, is once they do get invited to here and register, they'll receive a nice simple email, click on the link or a nice text message. Um, as soon as they start to register, they'll be part of Buzz. They'll be part of your Buzz circle. So now you can start to communicate with them securely. So I just sent out a nice little invite to Dr. Nandini. And I can see Dr. Nandini is now part of my Buzz circle and I can start to communicate with them securely. Just open up my contacts. I can see Buzz chat, send them a secure chat message, a secure dictation. I can even call them up with a Buzz to Buzz phone call. 
if I could start communicating with them right directly, right with voice even. Another great thing about having people in your circle is you can start to send these secure chat messages. You'll know that every part of the Buzz platform, you'll have encrypted end to end. I'm gonna send Dr. Nandini a little message about one of our patients we're working together. I actually received some blood cultures back from the lab for a patient and it came back positive for E. coli. So not only can I send Dr. Nandini a little message, but I could also send Dr. Nandini the actual labs and she can take a look at it and start to work on with the patient uh, with what's next as far as therapeutics. Uh, I'm gonna actually see if the doctor does wanna start to consult with an infectious disease group uh, and see if we can start to get um, a little collaboration going about the patient since the blood work came back positive for E. coli. I can see when I send the message, it looks like I can see the doctor has read it with little check marks there and being read. So I know when the doctor has read the message and is available. And of course the doctor is going to write back and says, yes, let's do this. We want to communicate with infectious diseases, not a problem. Oh, is the patient on any antibiotics? So I can see the doctor has asked me if there are any on antibiotics inside here. Another pillar of Buzz is communication and being able to communicate and create groups inside Buzz and send media messages is key to collaborative care inside of Buzz. Let's go ahead and create a couple groups. What I like to do is create uh, patient-centric groups. This allows everyone to know kind of where we are, what this group's all about. Very easy to create a group inside Buzz. You can see I'm gonna create a group in less than 30 seconds here. And all I'm doing is just getting some, some members that are part of my circle, putting at least one member in there. You can always add more members to your group, remove members later if you want to. I'm gonna add this group here, Dr. Nandini, and we'll give it the group name of patient ID and uh, the patient's name. Of course, we could add patient's date of birth if we wanted to on there. And just like that, I've created a group where we can start to communicate and collaborate all together inside this simple group. The cool thing about groups is not only can you add more members to it, but you can also send media messages. So uh, we have Jeff Bezos here. We're gonna send some lab reports to everybody so everyone can see the lab results to the patient. You can send different types of files. Not only can you send documents, Word documents, uh, PDF files, images, videos. You can also get save these or uh, mark them as a favorite if you wanted to. Here we're going to open up the lab reports and we can edit the lab reports, send our notes in there, or save it for later. That's simple to send some lab reports through Buzz. You'll notice everything happens in real time, um, both on my computer and on my mo mobile device. I'm going to open up to the group settings here and now I can even add more members or add maybe some group information. Perhaps I want to put the primary care position uh, inside here, the date of birth of the patient. I can do that by adding some notes to the, this actual group. Everyone can view the notes at any time. You can add whatever you like to these. These are all customizable for you. You can make mark groups as favorite. You can even make a group, a broadcast only group if you just want people to read and not have to respond back in here. I've marked this group as my favorite. And of course we can edit our members down below. If I wanna add more members, I'm gonna add Dr. Nandini to this group. Now Dr. Nandini is a part of this group. I can actually even share past messages with Dr. Nandini so she'll be able to see all the past messages that I've done inside this group. And that's how an amazing feature inside Buzz is being able to share past messages with other users so they can start running with the patient instead of having to wait to get all that information later on. Now that I've added Dr. Nandini to this group, I'm actually going to go ahead and set up a, a patient consultation event reminder. You can send event reminders inside here. You can set up telehealth events if you want to. This is all done through the group. So not only am I sending everybody in the group this calendar invite, everybody can add it to their calendar or it'll, it'll actually already be there for you. All you have to do is open up to your calendar section and see all the invites that you have for your event reminders available for you. You can set up details and of course uh, a reminder in case something wanted to give 15 minutes, an hour, a day earlier reminder on here. Just like that, I was able to set up a little patient consult.
And of course, I can just go right into my calendars and event calendar and I'll see all my events that are available. All the events that I've been invited to, I can open up there by chronological order. I can view it by week, day, month, or even the whole entire uh, um, um, event listing I can see for all the different events available inside my Buzz calendar. No need to leave the Buzz environment. It's all saved in here for you. And of course, if I wanted to go ahead and send maybe a dictation, I can even analyze my speech. I can open up a dictation tool and Buzz will actually not only record my speech, but it will convert it to the actual text. So I can see here, if I want to send this patient's prescriptions, they can, anybody can listen to it by tapping on the little play button. You can scroll fast forward and it'll also transcribe you send the patient's any of prescriptions, your voice please. into text so they can also read it or save it for later. I'm going to go ahead and send the prescriptions now. I do happen to have the prescriptions available for the patient. I'll just put that up into the group chat. Now everyone can see our patient Jeff Buzos's prescriptions. And we can go ahead and get them started with anything other, or any other therapeutics that might be needed about for this. So I sent an image there. You can send calendar invites. You can send videos. You can send audio dictations. These are all the different types of media messages being able to be sent through Buzz. Every media message that gets sent gets saved. So I can open up my media browser and I can see all those pictures, all those videos, all those audio dictations, any files that were sent to me, any events that were sent to me get saved in a media drawer. So I don't have to worry about scrolling back up or missing something. It's all organized for me in my media drawer. You can also send little quick messages. So being able to send these quick replies with inside Buzz saves you a lot of time. You can customize these quick messages to something your 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 own use frequent often. Here I'm just gonna go send one that we have here. Can I call you in five minutes? Boom, just like that. I've sent the message out quickly. Didn't have to type anything at all. Just went to my quick messages to send. I actually want to get in touch with the doctor. I see that the labs show an elevated uh, BUN and creatinine. So I'm going to mention Dr. Nandini's name in here. And you can see that I put the at sign in front of Dr. Nandini's name. And this is actually what we call a mention. This will call out Dr. Nandini. Dr. Nandini will get a little alert on their chat messages to let them know they've been mentioned in the comment. You can go ahead and open up those comments and read exactly where you've been mentioned and who mentioned you. Not only does Buzz provide a rich chat-based experience, but being able to stay connected with online meetings as well as calling capabilities, all these experiences are built directly into Buzz. Let's take a look at some of the telehealth benefits we have inside the app here. Not only does the Buzz phone dialer allow me to call other Buzz users, but I can call any mobile or landline phone number as well. I have the ability to change my caller ID so I can keep my privacy and my anonymity, but still be able to make those important calls. I can have my caller ID show up for my office number or even my organization if I needed to. Uh, voicemails included inside here, as well as notes to be able to jot down useful information and send that either via message or save it from my own little use later. Another great telehealth feature built inside Buzz is the ability to send out a video conference. I can send out a Buzz video conference invite to anyone who has an email address or a text phone number. And I can just do that without having to send any software for them to download. As I enter their email address or phone number, I hit the send invite and Buzz will send an invite on my behalf. They'll get a message that received from me on behalf of Buzz to get started with the telehealth video conference. Whether you're sending the invite through email or text message, the receiver all needs to do is just click on the link in the email or tap on the link in the text message to get started. There's no software to download. All they need to do is click and connect. All Buzz video conference sessions are saved. 
whether you sent out the invite and want to resend the invite to somebody, start the session up again, or start it at a later time. I can always archive these as well. So if I do want to save it for billing, I have the option to do that. A hugely unique feature inside Buzz is the Buzz Link. And this is the ability to simply send a patient or a colleague a message by email or phone uh, by SMS and we'll simply send the secure message on your behalf. Watch here as I start to send a message through BuzzLink to a patient and I can send the patient a secure message by phone number or email and I can actually send to them a document where they can go ahead and start to sign, fill out the document and send it back all without having to download any software, all encrypted through the Buzz platform. The patient now can open up the document and start editing, filling out the necessary information and even sign the document and send it back to me all in real time without having to use any software. That's the power behind BuzzLink. Another one of Buzz's big pillars is collaboration. And collaboration is key in all form of communication. Buzz makes it easy to integrate that into your workflow, whether it's with DocuSigning, sharing your location, with BuzzFlow, and Skyscape Lightning. Let's explore some of these wonderful collaboration features. Being able to explore your location or share your location inside Buzz is really an intuitive tool. You don't ever have to leave the Buzz environment to look for things in your area or somebody else's area. You can search the vicinity of your surroundings or someone else's, whether you're looking for a medical center, places for COVID tests, even pharmacies are available. You can pull up a map and tap right on the information on the map to see the address, find directions, or even the website of the area you're looking for. It makes it that easy to find anything you're looking for without ever leaving Buzz. BuzzFlow is a wonderful tool that's available inside the Buzz platform. It is a rich text editor, not only where you can annotate, draw, prepare forms, even with measurements and pens, you can highlight certain things as well as send forms out to be available for e-docu signing. This works whether you're at your computer or right from your, your Buzz app. You can quickly sign forms and send information back and forth with documents. It works with a lot of the Word documents as well as any um, PDFs that you might have. It can be edited and filled out right from the device. No need to download any other new software. You can sign a consent form, have it sent to your patient, forward it to your provider, and everyone will have the same information which is saved inside securely and within Buzz. Skyscape Lightning is a wonderful feature available for you with inside Buzz. You have a vast library. We work with over 30 publishers to bring you 400 resources available with inside Buzz. Whether you're looking up labs or trying to find calculators, even drug therapeutics, you can pull up any information right from the Buzz app through Skyscape Lightning. Simply search for anything you're looking for and you have a vast library of availability information to you. Buzz also integrates with EHRs, giving Buzz users and caregivers an enriched experience with patients' charts. You can pull up real-time logs of communication data, reports, clinical notes, including summary of patients, residents' telehealth visits, and family calls. Buzz Organizations gives you those audit controls you need without having to worry about heavy IT personnel stepping in. You're able to not only create organizations where people will be in your contacts and part of your Buzz circle, but you can link up those people in those organizations to different groups and groups to organizations. If you do have people leaving your organization, you can simply remove them from the organization. They'll be removed from the groups, keeping all the structure of the messages inside that group able to be used again.
Thank you for joining us today. If you ever have any questions or want to get some insights into how the technology can enable efficient collaboration across your organization, please give us a call. You can reach out to us, the website linked down below.